Hey, so I came back to Instagram because I realized that I was forgetting about you. And you also need to know about what's going on and how to make sure you're safe from security attacks and stuff like that, you know, especially Instagram hacks, which is why I'm here today. Um, there's an Instagram phishing attack going around. And here you can see the email that comes in. It's not um, something that's gonna be on Instagram. It's gonna be an email that's gonna come to you. And you can tell by the really poor English in this. We sorry, we your account. Um, it, it's just bad. And that's really the first tip off. You should know when you look at something like this and it has terrible English that it's, it's not going to be legit. Um, it's not ever legit. Um, if you click on the button, it takes you to a copyright notice with more terrible English and it says that your account's going to be... Uh, deleted in 48 hours. That deletion in 48 hours is important because um, it makes you feel a sense of emergency and a sense of immediacy. And that's a social engineering trick um, and also a marketing trick. It, it makes you feel like you need to act now because you've put a lot of hard work into your Instagram. You don't want it to be deleted in the next 48 hours, right? Or 24 hours or whatever. It asks you for some information. You're birthday, which is a little weird, but I think they just do that to sort of try to help make this feel real. They also ask for your password. I haven't actually looked at this um, in person other than these screenshots because I have not received the email, but um, I'm assuming it asks for your username at some point too. When you put all this in, it's going to um, give you a pretty realistic looking loading button and a loading screen and then a copyright notice that also looks pretty legit and a, a positive check mark saying like, hey yo you submitted it and um it looks legit it then sends you to instagram for real the real instagram where you can log in and actually look at your account all of this makes it seem like it's real and they do a really great job of that it's really easy to be caught off guard unless you pay attention to really important stuff like the spelling really the best way to protect yourself against this kind of stuff is just kind of pay attention be suspicious of anything that comes to you especially if you didn't actually do what they're saying you did the the terrible english is really the first major tip off that one was really bad and a lot of them really are some of them are actually not so bad and that's tough um a lot of people have experienced this on youtube that are legit and they they do it's a real youtube email that really comes from youtube but of course doesn't ask for your password <laughs> so that's another thing you should get suspicious if it's asking your password you definitely need to do a little bit of research uh the main thing is check out the url up at the top if you're suspicious just do a, a search on google or whatever is this a thing or you can always reach out to um, a website support and say hey is this legit uh, most likely they're going to be like, no, that's not. Please don't do that. Also, change your password now anyway. But you should be changing your passwords every 90 days or so anyway. But hopefully this helps you stay safe on Instagram. Don't do that. Don't lose your Instagram account. I want to see you here tomorrow and not a bunch of spam.